Computers already have keyboards, they already have mice and touchpads, and they even have touch screens. But is there room for a totally new interface? Leap Motion dreams of a future where we'll use fluid gestures and finger motions in a true 3D input space, taking computing beyond our current type, click, and touch limitations. It's a dream that others share, Microsoft in the Kinect, for instance. But in the case of the Leap Motion controller, Leap Motion's first product, the dream isn't room filling, instead, it's intimate, residing in the space that fits on your desk. Now, we first saw this tiny little USB connectable Leap Motion device last year, but it's no longer theoretical, it exists for you to buy right now a real consumer product available for a mere $80. Its potential sounds impressive, but for what? Can it really transform your PC? Well, the Leap Motion Controller is basically just a motion sensor for your computer. Think of it as a tiny Kinect that works with a Windows PC or a Mac. Put it down in front of your computer and the space above it becomes a zone where you can use your hands to control stuff on your computer. Its sensory field, though, is limited to a narrow dome that extends above and around the tiny unit, two feet above the controller, two feet wide, and two feet deep, or eight cubic feet. The device itself is a tiny rectangular box, and for people wondering what you can do with the Leap Motion controller, the answer so far is a lot, but not much that's useful. The controller is compatible with Windows PCs and Macs, but it mostly works with software from the Airspace Store, an app store that's specifically designed for the unit. Familiar apps like Google Maps and games like Cut the Rope have been Leap enabled, and there are a host of other games and exploratory educational apps in the Airspace Store that are fun to just mess around with. Now, to set up this thing, basically you just plug it into your computer, download some installation software from a website listed on a little card, and it's basically just ready to pick up and go. It's not hard to set up, and the airspace soar comes pre-loaded onto the device. Now, on the airspace store, there are about 75 or so in the store right now, and more are promised to be coming soon. Most of these are games, a couple are experimental art and music experiences, and just a couple are educational. Basically, there's not much in the airspace store right now, but there's a lot of potential for this store. Um, you know, but on your PC, you know, this is a cool device, but it doesn't really work with existing computers. It's a little bit disorientating, and however, for all of its claims of about one hundredth of a millimeter accuracy, sometimes it just doesn't seem to pick up on what you're trying to do. Now, admittedly, there's, it's just the first generation of Leap Motion, and it can definitely improve in the future, but it doesn't feel how, I'm not sure how this device is going to be useful. Right now, the Leap Motion controller just doesn't have that much impact. As an input device for your PC, it feels like a solution to a problem nobody had. But it gets points for speaking something that works and for launching with enough of an app catalog to show off what it can do. The Leap Motion controller will obviously need more apps before we can really see this guy's full potential, and in the meantime, don't buy the Leap Motion controller with the expectation that it will replace your mouse, touchpad, or touchscreen. For now, it's for would-be futurists with a penchant for experimentation who are looking for a fun glimpse of motion-controlled future. It's a very specific market, and if you're not part of this market, don't worry, you're not missing out by not getting Leap Motion. But if you have already gotten this device, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.